Hello everyone, welcome to QNAP Live. I'm Product Manager Josh. Today I'm going to introduce you a, a useful application, QFiling. If you used to use QNAP NAS for uh, file management, I think you must know QFiling. QFiling is uh, an application in our app center which can help you to automatically manage all your data. And if you're not uh, familiar with uh, QFiling, it's okay. I, today I'm going to introduce you what how QFiling can help you. So let's go to the slide. Okay, um, we have QFiling to uh, update to the latest version 3.1. And in this version, we have some important new feature, which are real-time data filing. And we also integrate with our AI engine QMatch Core to support uh, automatic file organization. So today I'm going to introduce you QFiling 3 in four facts. The first is that how QFiling 3 can help you to organize all your files. And the second is I will show you how to start a QFiling test in three steps. And we will have a live demonstration. And in the end of the today, I'm going to uh, show you some example how to apply QFiling in your workflow. So first, if your files are scattered in everywhere in your NAS or in some uh, storage, it is difficult to, to organize them, then QFiling can help you to do that. And if you uh, take, take a lot of photos after traveling, and it is very difficult to manage all uh, thousands of photos, QFiling can also help you. And if your storage capacity is almost full, you need to uh, click remove some file, QFiling can also help you. So here are uh, how QFiling, uh, here are the QFiling core competitors. Uh, QFiling is, an, is very flexible for you to set up uh, the rule you need. We offer two types of tasks and three scheduling rules and nine editing modules. And it is really efficient. Uh, QFiling scheduling can help you to automatically file in all your data. And in QFiling, you can have total control of, of your data. You can uh, see the uh, system log and every uh, log for the task to see how your file uh, get filed. And it is really fast if you have a recipe to create a task. Okay, so here show you uh, how the two type of QFiling tasks work. We have a uh, Two type one is a uh, filing test, and another one is the recycling test. In QFiling, we support uh, lots of storage as a, a source, as a filing source, including the local NAS and the external device, and also the public cloud. So uh, you can select any one of them as a, as a source. And in QFiling, you can also set up the filter to filter uh, the data. And after filter, you can uh, we can have the adding module in a failing test. So at the same time you fail, you fail in a, a file, you can also edit them. And in the end, you set, uh, select the destination and set up the destination folder structure so that the uh, uh, data will be uh, failing to the specific, specific folder you uh, set up. And we also support a lot of uh, storage as a destination. We support local NAS, external, device and also public cloud. And in recycle test, uh, after you set up the fil filter, all the data will be sent to the trash. And let's see what news in uh, QFiling 3. We have uh, integrated with uh, our QTS another application, which are QFiling and QMagic. We can help you to archive the result, search result of QFiling and also archive the album in QMagic. And uh, in QFiling 3, we also support a new type of test, which is real-time test. In real-time test, QFiling will monitor the source of folder and automatically start the filing test when the new files are added. So every new added file will be organized immediately. And also, we provide three new file editing modules, which are file, face blur and pixel length and also image resize and image convert. And I'm going to introduce you uh, one by one 
in detail. So now let's see how, how to start a Q filing test in three steps. You just need to select a source and then set up the scheduling. In the end, you just uh, set up your um, filing rule. So first in the uh, selecting source, you can manu manually select the folder you, you want to uh, file in. So with the pro local NAS, it's external device and also remote storage, including remote NAS and public cloud. If you want to uh, file in the source uh, from the public cloud or remote NAS, you need to install hybrid mount application to help you to connect to the uh, public cloud. And in this uh, step, you, you, need to also, you also need to uh, select if you want to keep the source data or you want to delete the source data. Uh, it means that after you fell into a new uh, destination folder, uh, if you want to keep the source data, which will be like a copy, copy a data to a new folder. And if you want to delete the data, which will like the move, you just move the data from the source to the destination. And the second, uh, second way you select the source is you can uh, use a queue search. You can fill in the queue search search result. Queue search is one uh, very powerful search engine in our QTS, which can help you to search the, um, the data in, in your file. We support a full, full text search. And also we, can, we have a lot of advanced image search, including OCR, integration you can search the uh, text in the image or you can search some uh, color in the image so after you set up the search criteria in queue search you can uh, click the create queue filing test button and you the queue filing will the queue search will send the search result to queue filing as a source and also you can archive your uh, queue match smart album in queue match queue match is our um, photo management application, which can help you to manage all your photos. QMage has the AI recognition to help you to recognize the face, the things, and it will uh, collect all the photo in with the same face or same thing into the album. Or you can set up your uh, own smart album. However, the data might be scattered in different folders, so you can use QFiling to help you to manage all the data. And after select the source, you, you need to uh, select the schedule test, scheduling. We have three types of scheduling tests. The first is one, one time test. The file will be, um, the filing test will be start at just after you uh, create a test. And the source data will be filed once. And the second is schedule test. The filing test will auto, automatically start by a schedule. So you can set uh, for example, daily schedule, and after um, after you create a test, uh, the queue filing will automatically start the test every day at the same time. And the third one is a new type we just uh, provide in queue filing 3.1, which is a real time test. Queue filing will monitor your source folder, and if you add a folder, if you add a file into the folder and QFiling monitor that the QFiling will automatically start the test to fill in that new edit file. So every new edit file will be organized immediately. And please note that um, the real-time test will only support uh, for the, uh, if you select the local folder or the folder mount by hybrid mount as a source. And it will only uh, help you to fill in the, the new edit file in the folder. And the last step is the uh, filing rule. In this step, you have a uh, few uh, rules you can set up. The first is the uh, uh, filter, which is the uh, opt opt option of uh, you can set up. In the filter, you can we provide dozens of uh, filter criteria to help you to pick up the, the file you need. And some uh, filter in, is only support when you install Q Search. So if you want to have a full a support you just uh, install the queue search then you can have every uh, filter criteria you can use and also in this uh, step you can you can add more than one filter and then select the end or or logic 
And next is a file editing module. We have nine file editing modules to help you to edit a, a file in the in batch when filing the, the uh, data. So we provide some some for image, some for video, and some for uh, all type all of the type of the file format. So the first one is a uh, mark uh, watermark, which is uh, for the image and for the video can help you to add a test watermark or image watermark so you can add any any test or any image and can set up the option as you need and second is the image to pdf if you want to share a lot of image to your friend you can um, convert to one pdf and it is easy for you to share to your friend so uh, because we are, you are, if you are going to share with your friend, you will concern uh, um, data protection. So if data security, so in image to PDF, you can, we provide some, uh, some way to help you to protect the file, including we can prevent the copy, prevent print, printing, or, and also we can add a, a password to encrypt the PDF file. And next one is the, uh, our new editing module in QTS in QFiling 3.1, which is fast blur and pixelat. Uh, we use Q QNAP AI engine QMatch Core to help to recognize the fast in the photo. So if you are, if you are going to filing hundreds of photos, uh, our AI engine will help to recognize one by one and then to recognize the fast uh, area. And Q filing will help to blur or pixel the fast area as you want. So you can see that you can uh, customize the size of pixel and to uh, have, if you want a, a clear uh, picture or you want to uh, a blur picture. So you can, uh, you can set up the size of the pixel and we also um, provide a grayscale option for you. And the next tool for the image is also the new one for QFiling 3.1, which are image resize, help you to resize the, uh, the width or the height of the image. And the other one is image convert, help, help you to convert the image format. And also you can adjust the quality of the image to reduce the size of image. And next tool, is, uh, next tool are for video, which are video transcoding. You can transcode the video to MP4 format, and also you can uh, select the resolution when you are transcoding the video. And uh, another one is uh, subtitle pairing, uh, because uh, if you have a subtitle to the video, it must have the same name. So QFiling will help you to uh, move the same name subtitle file with the video together to the destination folder. And the next is for uh, data security. We help you to encrypt the file. So with uh, uh, encryption editing module, when you are filing the data, all the data will be encrypted in, uh, in a QENC format. We, we provide for the file extension. And we use the AES-256 uh, algorithm for uh, encryption. And after you encrypt, um, all the data will be uh, stored as a QENC format. If you want to decrypt them to read them, you can. Um, we have we provide three ways. The first is you can create another filing test in Q filing with the decryption adding rule. And another one is if you don't want to uh, decrypt all the file, you can just go to file station and see the, the file in QENC format and then right click the file to uh, select the decrypt, decrypt feature and just type, type the password you can decrypt the file. And if you share to an, another friend don't have, who don't have a QNAP NAS and also want to um, de decrypt the QNC file, it's, it's really easy. You just uh, install the QNC decryptor, which is a, a PC tool, PC application. So after you install QNC decrypter in your PC, it can help you to decrypt the QNC file. And the last one is compression. 
If you want to compress your file uh, to reduce the storage, you can select the compression. We provide two modes of compression. The first one is compress all file to a single file. After the queue filing, after queue filing help you to uh, organize all your data to the destination folder. It will compress all the data into one single file. Uh, however, it will not support in real-time task. And another mode is to compress all each file. For example, if you have 100 file, and it will compress to the zip file or 7z file one by one, so you will have the 100 compressed file in this mode. Okay. So uh, after you set up the file editing, you can you need to set up the um, destination path. In this step, you can set up more than one destination path to have uh, more copy to uh, other destination. For example, one uh, one copy in the local and another one copy in the remote NAS or the public cloud. And then set up the folder structure. We provide three ways to uh, to help you specify the destination folder structure. The first one is you can set up some rule. For example, uh, in the uh, in this screenshot, you can see that I just uh, set up the rule that I want to the, I want the photo the image uh, stored in the photo folder and the video stored in the video folder. And I can also set up some other rule. For example, year taken, date taken, or some um, video taken, and so on. And also, you can select to uh, you, if you don't want to have some have this uh, criteria to organize your data. You can just follow the original folder structure, or you just want to flatten the folder structure into all the file will be uh, stored into the same folder. And in the last step, you just uh, set up the file conflict uh, policy. If uh, data already is there. You want to skip the file, or you want to rename or overwrite the file in, with a new file. And also in this step, you can easy to batch rename all your file by set up the renaming rule. Okay, so after you uh, set up the, you create the queue filing task. In queue filing user interface, it, it can help you to uh, overview all your data. You have a summary to see uh, all the status of your data, and you can see the um, every log, system log, and the test log. You can see every file, how the file fell into the uh, destination folder. And uh, we provide you a recipe. You can set up some recipe. For example, you want to all your photos set. Uh, filing by one, one rule, so you can set up the photo backup rule. And after that, you, after you create a recipe, you, if you want to create a test, you just use this recipe to create a test. So you don't need to set up the rule one every time. Okay, so let's go to the uh, live demo. Okay, so here is the user interface of uh, QFiling uh, 3.1, uh, the latest version. And uh, some of you might not know that it, after Q3.0, we have the um, license. If you need to um, create a much, if you want to create more uh, tests, you need to purchase the license. However, we still provide uh, lots of uh, free tests in the last light light plan. So you can see that today demo demonstration, I will use the light plan. We will also um, provide you the full feature of the queue filing. You can use every feature with a, a limit task. So first, I'm going to create a task. Just create uh, create this button, create a filing task, and um, the first first test I'm going to demonstration is using the uh, fast fast blur editing module. So I'm going to select the full the source, and then I rename this as the fast, fast blur task. Go to next step. Uh, in this step, you can select a schedule. We have one time schedule, one time test. Uh, the file will be, uh, the test will be start af just after you create a test, and it will it will only be um, 
run one time. And we also have a schedule test. If you select schedule test, the test will be start in the time you setting. And every every time it meets the schedule, it will automatically start the task. And also the real time task, it will uh, monitor the source folder and let every new new edit file will be uh, automatic. Uh, start the task to organize the file and today I'm going to select the one time task because it will help us to immediately to uh, start the task so go to the next step uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to select the, the filter but I can show you how to uh, how to set up the filter in in this step you can set up a lot of filter for example a multi modified date you can set up if you want all data uh, before third modify before 30 days which means the old older data you want to uh, archive the older data you can set up this uh, filter also you can set up uh, more than one filter and then select the n or or logic okay but uh, in this test i want to um, manage all the file the source file so i'm not going to set up the filter and I'm going to set up the editing module. We have a nine editing module. And in this tag, I'm going to show you how to use our AI engine to recognize the face and to uh, make it a uh, pistolet. So I just select a pistolet. I, and here you can select a size of pistol to have a, a, clear that, uh, a clear image or not. So I just select the uh, 12. And, and also you can uh, click this action to have uh, this option to have the grayscale scale or not okay and I apply and then set up the destination here just set up the where you want to uh, store the, the final re result okay so I create a new task the first look and you can um, you can select more than one path and then the data will be copied to the um, the two paths so I can uh, copy one data to uh, my local NAS and another data to my public cloud it is uh, it can allow you to have more copy And next is the destination folder structure. In this step, you can uh, create a folder structure based on the specific criteria. So uh, here, I can I want to move uh, the photo to the uh, picture folder and then to the um, year taken folder. And for example, if there are some music, I I can um, put them into the album folder. A video, I can put them to the um, the date taken folder. For example. Uh, I just take in, in the, 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 the video taking the same day will be in the same folder and the document you can uh, put into the document all folder if you don't need to so much you can uh, remove them or you can add you can add, add more than one if you need okay so apply them you can see in this preview folder 3 the photo will be put into the photo folder and uh, uh, the year taken folder and the music will be put into the music folder and the music album folder and, and so on and if you don't want to uh, organize them in that kind of folder structure you can follow the organize, original folder structure or you can flat, flatten them to the same folder structure okay so apply them and then the, the final one is the uh, file conflict policy if the file already there what do you want to do you, you want to skip them Override them or rename the, the new file. And here I can also have a rename uh, naming method. I can set up the naming rule. For example, I want to put this file, put this photo into my blog. So I, I just um, pixel, pixel, uh, pixel add the, the fast. So I can name, rename them as a blog and today, today's date and then give them the index so here show you the, the result of the rename okay and apply I just apply this task 
And because uh, this tag will, uh, I just told you that we use the uh, AI module, we use the AI method to um, recognize the face area. So it will take a little bit time. So at this time, I'm going to show you how to use QSearch uh, as the source to fill in the search result. So uh, QSearch is one of our very powerful search engine in QTS and it can help you to have the full text search to search the um, text in the, uh, in the file, not only in the file name. So in this uh, search criteria, I'm going to search the uh, document with a QNAP keyword. So you can see that I have 392 results. And if I want to uh, organize all these results, I want to fill in archive the all these results to the folder, I just click this button create a filing task and all results will uh, go into the queue filing and go into it to create a test. Okay, let's just start again. Okay, so uh, sorry, there's uh, something, something wrong happened here. It's okay, I just go to uh, see the QMagic uh, example in QMagic. QMagic is our um, photo management uh, application which help you to AI recognize your uh, photo with fast with things or the photo with the same fast or in the same thing will be organized into a, a album. And also you can create your, your own smart album. And here you can see that uh, QMAG helped me to organize uh, all the photo with uh, uh, things recognized to the uh, 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 album. So at this time I can archive the album with QFiling, I just click this button. And it will go to uh, QFiling. You can see that uh, uh, it will import the file from QMagic. So this test is, uh, the source is from QMagic. So you don't need to uh, select, a, a, you don't need to ma manually select the source. So this test, I, I name is uh, QMagic. And in, if you uh, import the source from QMagic or from QSearch, it only support one-time test and schedule test. It doesn't support real-time test because uh, your folder, uh, your source, might not be in the same folder, so we cannot uh, monitor the, the folder. So this time you can select the one-time test or schedule test. If you select a schedule test, which means that if uh, you add more photo and it, it recognized by QMAG and then put into the, the same thin folder, and after that, after every scheduling test, it will help you to uh, fill in all the new, new data. So we go to the next step. And here is the same uh, same way to set up your rule. Okay, so that is the way you can uh, import your data from QSearch result and from QMage album to help you to uh, organize your data. Okay, so let's go go back to a Q file and see our test we just created before for the fast blur, and the, the test is already complete. So we just go to file station and see the result. Here is the uh, source of the result. I put some um, image with the, the child's face, the child picture. So you can see that it is the image with a child. And if I want to uh, publish this uh, photo to some uh, public media, I want to uh, place it like the, uh, the child face. So I can use QFiling to help me to do that. So you can see uh, our result folder on here. Here is uh, uh, the folder we put uh, as a destination of the QFiling task. So you can see that the data will be put into the folder, uh, picture folder and in the uh, photo taken folder. So some photo are taken in 2016 and some picture are taken in 2017. And you can see that all data, all the file will be renamed by the rule. And you can see the result. Uh, 
the picture has already been added and the face has been pixelated. So you can see every every picture with a, a face with a, a face pixelated module can help you to pixelate all the faces in the photo. And it, it's just really easy to you just need to create one task to have all your photo pixelated. Okay, so I'm going the next I'm going to show you another scenario we can use a real-time task. So I'm going to uh, create a real-time task. In this scenario, we just um, image that uh, if you have uh, your cell phone take a lot of photo and you use the um, Q file to upload them into the, the same folder which name auto upload folder. So you can set out a photo auto upload folder as a source. Auto upload real time. And I'm going to uh, select the real time task. Okay, so in this scenario, I just want to uh, show you how, how QFiling will uh, manage the, the data in immediately. So I'm not going to set up the filter and the editing module. Just set up the destination path to the um, test result. I'm going to create a new folder for the real-time demo. And this time I'm going to use follow the uh, original folder structure. And for the file conflict policy, I select a uh, skip a file and I don't want to rename this. So apply. Okay, so you can see this new test is already monitoring. So let's go to uh, file station. The source folder is here, auto upload. Now it's empty. So I just uh, upload the file into this auto upload folder. So I um, for example, I took the photo uh, with a dog and I upload to this folder. So I copy the data to this folder. So now there's a new file in this source. So let's see how QFiling helps us to do this. So we can see the test log. Just a few seconds ago, QFiling uh, monitor that and there is a new file adding to this folder. So QFiling helps us to uh, start a task to uh, mod to organize this file. So we can we go to the destination folder, which is in the Q filing task in the real time demo I just created before. And you can see that there is the data is already been um, copied to this folder. So that is how we can use real time tests to help us to immediately organize our file. Okay, so let's all, all our demo, let's go back to the slide. Okay, we go back to the slide. Okay, so next I'm going to show you some example how you can apply a QFile into uh, your workflow. The first one is that if you are office worker, you can use QFile to uh, help you to archive the file in, in Ceph. So you can use QSearch to search all your data. For example, in this uh, snapshot, I just select the file with a uh, contract. Okay, and after that, uh, I go to I use uh, Q, after I use Q search to search uh, all the data. I just click the button, create the filing rule. So so I. Uh, QSearch will help us to input a data to QFiling and I can set up the filter if I need and for uh, data security I just set up the um, encryption uh, editing module and the compressed editing module and in the end we set up the destination structure and the structure so in this flow it can help you to archive all your data with the uh, keyword and to encrypt the data to archive them.
And the next one is that we use the uh, uh, QMagic as a source. So if you are a um, photographer, you take a lot of photo and you use QMagic to help you to organize all the photo. You can um, archive the photo to, by um, Q filing to archive the smart uh, photo from the smart album in QMagic. So we just click create the filing text by importing QMagic AI album or smart album. And in QFiling, you can set up some file filter. And you can also set up some uh, editing module if you need, for example, uh, watermark or some or a fast blur module. And in the end, you just uh, you can set up the destination folder structure. For example, we just um, set up the uh, we want to put the photo in the um, folder named by the year taken or named by the month taken, and also it can help you to batch renaming file. And in this scenario, we just in, uh, show you in the demonstration that you, if you are taking a lot of photo by your uh, mobile phone, and you can use cube file to set up the auto upload rule to upload the file to the NAS in the auto upload folder. So every time you take a, take a photo, cube file will help you to automatically upload to NAS. And after that, you can set up the cube file rule to help you automatically to um, organize all your data into the destination folder. So after the set, you set in the real-time task and the data will uh, be stored into the destination folder structure. So you just need to take photo and the photo will go into the NAS folder immediately and automatically. Okay, and we, we, have, uh, we have a user ask the question, so please let me see the question. Can we now save the tag we give our photo now? For example, I have 100,000 photo but lose the tag every time and I upgrade or remove the volume. We will it keep tag with this conversation if I like how it can convert 100,000 picture into a common size and file but only if it keep the tag we give them initially. Okay, I'm not sure what the tag you means here if you are mean the fast tag, um, fast tag creating by the QMagic. Uh, you just go to QMagic, the QMagic will automatically help you to uh, create a fast tag. And if you have the fast tag in QMagic, if you uh, have the fast album in QMagic, then you can use QMagic to, um, you can use QFiling to help you to fill in the, uh, the data in the QMagic smart album. Okay. So uh, the next one is that uh, from Q3.1, we uh, you need the license if you want to create a lot of filing tasks. But we also provide you uh, we also provide you the many tasks in our light plan. We provide you uh, eight tasks in the one time task, eight tasks in the schedule task, and eight tasks in the real time task. So in total, there are twenty four tasks you can create. And if you need more, you can put, uh, purchase the plus plan or, and the premium plan to uh, upgrade to 30 tasks and 200 tasks. And here are some uh, our recommend mo model for you to use QFiling. And if you uh, need a high, high performance, uh, you can use our uh, new model, TVSH1688S, which is uh, we just launched previously. This is a new mo new model. Uh, we use the QTS Hero operation system, and also uh, you can use every NAS you need, which, uh, as you need, or you can use just the NAS you, you already have to use Q filing. We support in the latest uh, QTS version, Q QTS four point five point one. 
Okay, so that is all, all our introduction for Qfiling 3.1 and now you can uh, install and install Qfiling 3.1 from App Center to uh, try all our new feature in Qfiling 3.1 So, okay, that is and let's see you next time. Bye-bye